Nairobi, Kenya's capital city, lying 5,400 feet above sea level and south of the country. Nairobi is Kenya's principal economic, administrative and cultural center, which is fast growing into one of the largest cities in Africa. At the heart of this great city in the sun lies a leading healthcare provider in East and Central Africa. Welcome to the Nairobi Hospital. Within the next few minutes, I want to invite you to journey with me through the facilities and specialized services offered here at the Nairobi Hospital over its 56 year existence. Since 1954, when the hospital was built as a European hospital, we have a long story to tell. I want to invite you now to give you the story of the past going into the future. Hello, Rosalind. Fine, thank you, Effie. Good. How may I help you? I'm looking for the CEO's office. You go straight ahead. All right, thank you. Since its inception in 1954, the hospital was primarily uh, set aside as a European hospital and hence the name Nairobi European Hospital, of course, which later reverted to the Nairobi Hospital. The hospital was owned by a, a company called the Kenya Hospital Association, which is still in existence and I'll tell you about the Kenya Hospital Association a little later on. Well, here you can see uh, some mementos, photos, lovely, from 1954 the uh, initial construction of the hospital, precisely 9th April 1954. Management gurus have aptly stated that for any organization to leap to the next level, that organization requires a vision. The Nairobi Hospital is not to be left behind and its vision is to lead. However, every vision requires a vision carrier. We are now going to talk to the vision carrier who is also the Chief Executive Officer of the Nairobi Hospital, Dr. Cleopa Mailo, who will shed a little more light as to what strategies they have implemented and sustenance campaigns that they continue to implement in the search for excellence of this great hospital. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I'd like to see Dr. Mailo, please. Okay, I'll go right here. All right, thank you. What would you consider, in your opinion, to be some of the greatest milestones that the Nairobi Hospital has achieved so far? The hospital has grown from humble beginnings to a major institution providing uh, tertiary care to many people within the country and beyond. We are doing kidney transplants, we are doing open heart surgery, we are doing uh, surgery in trauma and orthopedics, knee replacement, hip, hip replacement, for some time we have been the only private owned cancer treatment center in the country. We have seen many patients benefit from this institution. Therefore, we are pioneers in the area of cancer treatment outside the teaching hospital, Kenyatta National Hospital. We have um, invested heavily in technology. We invested both our management systems and the clinical systems are driven by ICT and um, Recently, we moved on into having what we are calling patient archiving system for x-ray department, whereby uh, many patients will record they receive x-ray films when they go to hospitals. This time around, those are not necessary in this hospital, and they can be sent to doctors through uh, the, their emails or internet. We have embraced ISO certification in various areas, uh, environmental management systems, as you know, healthy institutions can be uh, a pollutant in the community uh, or in the surroundings, but uh, we are certified for that. Uh, our systems are certified. Even food, which is uh, important to the patient, our kitchen must be ISO certified uh, so that we know that the food we provide is safe uh, to our patients. Well, in the uh, hospitality and medical industry, one thing that is very pivotal to the success of it is service delivery. What are your strengths when it comes to service delivery? When you are admitted to a hospital, your patient requires the best nursing care which is available. And um, this one we have positioned ourselves effectively. We are well positioned in the city of Nairobi. 
we are within the reach of the airports if patients are coming from outside the country. Uh, we are in the city centre where relatives and patients from outside the town can reach, at, reach us easily. And therefore these are strengths which we have, which um, I cannot say they are available with many other institutions within the, the city of Nairobi. Where do you see yourself five years down the line? In five to ten years, we will have a brand new hospital which caters for the needs of our clients. We will continue to embrace technology and um, to uh, kind of to be the destination of choice for many people who, who seek private health care um, in this country and in the region. Um, we want to move a little bit to share more of our experience with other uh, institutions within the region. Well, thank you very much. There we have it, the CEO of the Nairobi Hospital, Dr. Cleo Mailu, on his thoughts on the way forward in this hospital. Thank you, Dr. Ari. The Nairobi Hospital's Accident and Emergency Center has a well laid out preparedness plan which includes a helipad, a CT scanner and an x-ray that will help for quick reference. It also has this state of the art ambulance parked right here. This ambulance you see here has some state of the art facilities. It has a heart start with a cardiac monitor, it has an intubator which allows for oxygen to be passed onto the patient until they get to the hospital, ICU capabilities amongst many other technologies that many ambulances don't have in this country. The Nairobi Hospital has an accident and emergency center which hosts the casualty facility which is right here to my left as you can see. Now this facility is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week 365 days in the year. This facility becomes your first contact point when you are sick and you need to see a doctor. The casualty facility here, the Nairobi Hospital, is well partitioned and spacious and very well equipped. This gives the patients the affordability, the luxury to have the privacy during consultation. As you can see here to my left is a doctor's and nurse's workstation where all compilation and reconciliation of patients' records occurs. The Nairobi Hospital outpatient has a well-trained team of doctors and nurses who work very closely with their counterparts in ICU, HDU and theater just to save lives. Once you have been seen here at the outpatient and you require further referrals, you then go to the Anderson Medical Center which is right next to the Doctors Plaza for further reference. The Nairobi Hospital caters for all age groups and so here we are at the Pediatric Centre. It's a beautiful centre and as you can see to my right, you can see the rooms are very well equipped and uh, the ambience is beautiful. It's the sort of place when you bring your kids, they immediately just feel at home. As you can see, this is my favourite character. Is this Winnie the Pooh? Um, I'm not sure who it is, but as you can see, the place is beautiful. This center is open 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The Nairobi Hospital Pediatric Center for you. One unique place that I'm about to show you is a one-stop clinic, which is reliable, fast, customer friendly. That is the executive clinic. Come this way, let me show you. Oh. I'm just catching my breath after running up the steps. Well, this clinic you see here offers personalized one-on-one -on -one attention to the people who come here. You only come to this clinic on appointment basis. The doctors here will specialize and see you and give you all the attention that you need. It's the ideal clinic for the executive man or executive woman, if you will. Um, some of the services they offer here in, include lab tests and, and, and radiology tests, uh, amongst others. The Nairobi Hospital Laboratory, which is a 24-hour service laboratory with well-trained medical staff, has consistently delivered medical quality laboratory services for over 50 years. 
Some of the departments in this laboratory include hematology, blood transfusion, microbiology, molecular clinical diagnostics, biochemistry, special chemistry, immunology, histopathology, and cytology sections. The lab is capable of comprehensive analytical and diagnostic studies and serves the regional market receiving specimen from fur and wide. And with quick turnaround times, enabling medical consultants make proper diagnosis and embark on relevant patient management. The lab remains at the forefront of medical diagnostic breakthroughs in the region. The laboratory is involved in various research studies to continually keep abreast of new and emerging trends. This right here is Nairobi Hospital's radiology department and this gadget next to me is known as an ultrasound. The radiology department at the Nairobi Hospital offers a series of ultrasound examinations, some of which include the color Doppler studies, high resolution breast scan, fine needle aspiration or FNA if you will, and drainage procedures under ultrasound guidance. We are here at Nairobi Hospital's CT scan room and I'll tell you shortly what happens inside here. Now the CT scan technology runs on X-ray technology, if you will, and it gives a doctor the ability to see into, inside, the human body. Now this gadget here is called a CT scanner. This technology has come a long way since the 1990s when it was first invented. In the 1990s, this gadget was able to produce one image at a time. Just to show you how far technology has come over the years, this gadget is called a 64 slice CT scanner, which means it can produce 64 images at a go. For example, if you needed to do a scan in your head, your doctor will probably need to see about 32 different images. This gadget, the 64 slice CT scanner, is able to produce those 32 images in about 15 seconds. Amazing. So some of the advantages of this technology is that it is definitely faster than the older technology of the 90s. You get clearer pictures, it is less intrusive on the patient, and as well, it gives your doctor faster results. This is a magnetic resonance imaging machine, better known as the MRI which runs on magnetic fields in conjunction with radio pulses of energy which are able to penetrate into the minutest parts of the body. Some of the parts of the body that the MRI is able to penetrate include the brain, the chest, the abdomen, the knee joints and the spine. We're here at Nairobi Hospital's cath lab where they have installed a new ultra-modern cardiac catheterization laboratory. This laboratory is able to diagnose and treat complex heart and blood vessel ailments. The body is accessed via the blood vessels. The equipment offers extremely low radiation levels while at the same time it provides you with excellent image resolution. It is fast and comes with 3D vessel rendering for inline stent measurement and also comes with the ability for DVD recording for the images. This equipment, in addition, enables doctors to perform complex heart vessel surgery without necessarily opening up your body. It is used to insert pacemakers and balloons which widen the vessels and adjust any other areas of your heart as may be required. In addition to this, the Nairobi Hospital also offers open heart surgery for adults and children as need be. Under the radiology department, we are here at the mammography which offers breast screening for breast cancer. The machine you see right behind me is called the Advanced Stereostatic Mammography Machine 
which offers screening for men and women to avert breast cancer. Early detection and diagnosis is perhaps your best bet to avert breast cancer. We're here at the Nairobi Hospital's radiology department where they have embraced the latest technology and we're going to talk to Dr. Talwar who is going to explain to us a little more on what it is they do here. Dr. Talwar, what are some of the great strides that have been made in radiology over the past 50 years or so? Oh, radiology has come a very long way in the last 50 years. Traditionally, people think of radiology as X-ray films which used X radiation. But in the last 50 years, you have moved away from X-rays to what is called imaging, where you use other forms of radiation, be it uh, high frequency sound waves, which commonly is known as ultrasonography, or you use magnetic resonance imaging, or CT scans. Uh, all these new imaging techniques supplement the plain radiography that we were used to and quite honestly there have been great strides in uh, what we can now offer patients in uh, radiology and the imaging techniques that are available. When you talk about storage and dissemination, what are some of the great strides and the advantages of the new system that you're using now? The greatest advancement has been this system which we are now using at the Nairobi Hospital and uh, you'll be quite pleased to know that we are the first in this region to introduce uh, the PEC system which stands for uh, Picture Archiving and Communication System. This is a completely dry system and the transition from the processing system to this system, the advancement is that ever since digital imaging has come into science. Now you can record images digitally. For example, this image that you see, it was recorded 300 meters away from this particular office. And within a matter of seconds, it's transmitted to, to this monitor. And the biggest advantage of this is the patient can go away and in my own time, I can manipulate this image. It's called post-processing. And you can imagine if you have the traditional x-rays, they occupy a lot of space. And storage was always a big problem. How long do you keep x-rays? Where do you store them? So this eliminates not only our ability to manipulate films as we want and coordinate different examinations of the patient, but it also helps us in storage because this particular type of image can be stored on a CD. It can be transmitted to a doctor sitting miles away from this hospital on email and or on any other electronic file. So when you put all this together, this really is the greatest advancement both in archiving, in storage, and in transmitting images to all those who have a stake in the management of the patient. All right, thank you, Dr. Talwar. Thank you. Very insightful. There are various specialized teams undertaking reconstructive surgeries after trauma or for congenital disorders including craniofacial abnormalities, maxillofacial reconstructions, bone, joint, knee and hip replacements and corrections as well as spinal procedures. Since 1956 under the Clinical Services Division, the Nairobi Hospital Pharmacy has continued to grow in terms of quality, quantity and variety of drugs dispensed. In pursuit of providing quality health care, the Nairobi Hospital Pharmacy has direct links with research institutions and medical drug manufacturers who help provide up-to-date drug information. 
The hospital pharmacy prides itself in 100% filling of prescriptions and where drugs are not available, the pharmacy would source them and advise the patient on pickup and proper drug use. Patients from the region also consult the pharmacy widely on various drugs. The pharmacists are trained to critically assess patient prescriptions and consult as required to ensure precise medication is dispensed in the right quantities and of the right quality. The pharmacy has a well-equipped poisons and drug information center educating patients on proper use of drugs. Uh, how are you? Fine. Sister Caroline, that sounds up to yes. Well, I just came to look and see your new customer admission center. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome. Thank you. Well, as you can see from the reception here at Nairobi Hospital's new customer admission center, the reception is already warm. I can already feel it. Now, this is a one-stop customer center that offers, amongst others, admission services. Those admissions come directly from doctor's clinics. Portering services, if you come for example to be admitted here and you're not feeling very well, then a nurse will escort you to your room and a porter will push your bags right through. We also offer discharging services here and also once you've been discharged, you can pay from this new customer support center. The Nairobi Hospital has various accommodation facilities ranging from presidential suites private rooms and the general wards and a pediatric unit. We're here at Nairobi Hospital's South Wing and this is St. John's Ward and as you can see the rooms are very spacious with all contraptions of modern hospitals but even more interesting as you can see in here is a very well done on suit with a bathtub, uh, a loo there and handles to help invalids and right adjacent to that, you've got a shower. This particular ward offers you a wide array of choice when it comes to the sort of room you would like to sleep in. We've got the deluxe rooms, we've got the ensuite rooms, we've got the duplex rooms, we've got the private rooms, we've got the ward beds. Where we are right now is a deluxe room. As you can see right where I am. This is the baby's cot and right here you have the guardian's bed. Uh, behind this door you've got a bathroom and a shower and you've also got other trappings like a recliner seat and a refrigerator in your room just for your comfort. We're here at Nairobi Hospital's High Dependency Unit also known as the HDU which takes care of very critically ill patients the patients who come to this unit are given round-the-clock dedication, 24 hours. There's a team that just focuses on each patient as an individual. As you can see, this place is well equipped with equipment that facilitates that process. We've got the monitor here, we've got the Vicus machine and the ECG, all serving the same purpose to help keep the patient alive. We're here at the Nairobi Hospital's intensive care unit better known as the ICU. The Nairobi Hospital has invested over the years in state-of-the-art equipment that will resuscitate and help keep the patients in here alive. Some of the equipment here includes ventilators, defibrillators, and other sophisticated equipment that helps in the breathing process of the patients in here. This unit is manned by a 24-hour shift staff who include doctors, nurses, who are just specifically designated to each patient in this ward. The obstetrics department is recognized for its dedication to individualized care for the entire family and offers labor and delivery, nursery, maternity services and Lamar's classes. The hospital also has a premature unit which is highly advanced to take care of premature babies with special needs. The unit has specialized neonatal nurses who monitor the babies on a continuous basis and provide the necessary support. 
These nurses have pediatric advanced life support knowledge and skills in neonatal care to ensure the best outcomes for babies. Babies as small as 500 grams have been nursed successfully to full health. Under the Nairobi Hospital's Key Support Services Division lies this department of food and catering. This department has three shifts that work 24 hours a day to cook all the food that's consumed by students and patients on this campus. The Doctors Plaza can be referred to as Nairobi's modern medical mall. This plaza hosts over 70 specialists and doctors who practice their trade here at a private capacity. This three-floor plaza has ample packing and also boasts of a well-equipped laboratory and pharmacy. The doctors who practice here have close proximity to the main hospital and thereby easy access to their patients who are in the main hospital. The Nairobi Hospital manufactures its own oxygen for use in the hospital, while this ensures a backup supply of emergency oxygen is always available. The hospital is ISO 14001-2004 Environment Management System certified. The hospital ensures waste is safely disposed from source to destination, making it sensitive to the environment and a green champion in a contaminated world. The Nairobi Hospital has set up specialized treatment facilities such as the Kidney and Dialysis Center, which is housed here at the renal unit. Well, let's now go in and see what activities take place inside here. The center has been carrying out kidney transplants and dialysis services for the past 20 years. Now this is what you call a dialysis machine and the operation happens right here. This station is manned by a team of specialized and highly qualified doctors, nurses, dietitians, and social workers who ensure that this facility runs smoothly. For cancer patients, the hospital has an advanced chemotherapy unit that offers holistic services to cancer medical patients. Radiology services are also available here. Oncologists and oncology nurses are well trained to give comprehensive care for cancer patients as well. Let us now go to the physical medicine department and see what goes on there. Well, we're here at the physical medicine center where the hospital offers post-surgical care to patients who have undergone reconstructive surgery in areas such as spinal corrections, hip replacements, knee replacements, bone adjustments, amongst others. For the rehabilitation of these and other ailments, the hospital uses the physical approach method to enhance healing. Now, these approaches are carried out in the various units that are housed here. Some of those units include the hydrotherapy unit, the occupational therapy unit, the speech therapy unit, and the physiotherapy unit. Well, we've just come from the physical medicine center and we now want to go into the Cecily McDonald School of Nursing and see what goes on in the classrooms. Come. Nursing is indeed the backbone of Nairobi Hospital's success and here at the Cecily McDonald School of Nursing, they offer a variety of nursing courses which include theater nursing, oncology nursing, pediatric nursing, and emergency nursing, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. 
Africa has long been considered dependent on the West. However, great strides are happening in this great continent, especially in the field of medicine. At the Nairobi Hospital, our mission is to be a regional center of excellence and quality healthcare through efficient services and facilities. The Nairobi Hospital, providing healthcare with a difference.